Hey, Grade Twos, it's Mr. Olson. Uh, today we are starting our new unit on data analysis. So first we need to figure out what does that mean? What is data? Well, data is the fancy math word for information or facts. Um, it is just finding uh, information about numbers, quantities, uh, things like that. And analysis is looking at and asking questions and answering questions about the data, about the information that we found. And uh, the way that we're going to be doing that mainly in this unit is with graphs. And uh, here on this page, you can see that I have a graph. And my graph is called Mr. Olson's Toy Cars. Uh, and so some important things on this graph are some labels uh, because we're comparing the colors of my toy cars. So I have some blue, I have some green, and I have some red. Um, if we look over here, we see a picture that tells us that each picture of a car equals one car. So that means for my blue cars, I have two. One, two blue cars. One, two, three, four, five green cars. And one, two, three red cars. So now we have some data, we have some information. We know that I have a certain amount of each color of those cars. So now we can start to analyze that data. We can start asking questions and answering questions about Mr. Olson's toy cars. So here's one question. How many cars or how many toy cars does Mr. Olson have in all? So total number of cars, how many toy cars do I have all together. Well, two blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I count all the cars together, I have ten toy cars in all. How many more green cars than blue cars does Mr. Olson have? So if I have two blue cars and I have five green cars, we can look at the graph and use it to help us figure out that question. I see that I have one, two, three more green cars after the blue stops. So I have three more green cars than blue cars. How many fewer red cars than green cars does Mr. Olson have? How many fewer, how many less? So I have three and then the red or the green, sorry, continues on for two more. So that means I have two fewer red cars than green cars. Two fewer, because I'm missing those two spaces. Okay. Um, what happens if we change this information just a little bit? If we change our data, if we add more cars to the graph, how does that change our analysis? How does that change the questions? So how many Mr. or how many Mr. Olson's? No, that's not right. How many toy cars does Mr. Olson have in all? Well, I've added some, so let's check how that changed the answer to this question. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now I have 13 cars in all. How many more green cars than blue cars does Mr. Olson have? Well, if we change our data, it changes the answer. So how many more green cars than blue cars? Well, now I only have one more. I can see the empty space there. I can see that I have one more green car than blue cars. How many fewer red cars than green cars does Mr. Olson have? Well, if I look at my red, and compare it to my green, I can see that I have, I'm missing one red car. So that means I have one fewer or one less red car than green cars, okay? So today, this is your assignment. And I know this looks like a lot of information on this page, but it's really not too bad you are going to make an on-spy color graph. So you are going to choose three colors, just like I chose for my car. 
Uh, they don't have to be red, green, and blue. Those are just the colors that I chose. Um, and you're going to draw and label your graph so that it looks just like this. Okay, if you have a ruler, you can make your lines nice and straight. If you don't have a ruler, just do the best you can uh, and to draw it out. Um, then you're going to choose one of your colors and you're going to eye spy around your room. Look around your room and see how many things you can find of that color. So I am going to start with blue. And I'm going to look around my room and I'm going to see how many blue things I see. Well, I see a blue cloth. So that's one blue thing. And I'm just going to put a, dark, a dot on my chart for that. And I see a spray bottle that is blue. So I'm going to put a dot on my chart for that. And I see a pen that is blue. And I'm going to put a dot on my chart for that. Ah, crazy dot. Uh, now I'm going to check out green. What do I see in my room? What can I spy that is green? I see a tin of tea that is green. So I'm going to put a dot on my chart for green. And I see a green piece of paper. So I'm going to put a dot on my chart for green. And I see some plants growing that are green. I'm going to put a dot on my chart for the plants. And I see a bag of cough drops that is green. So I'm going to put a dot on my chart for green for the cough drops. Uh, now, red. Let me see. Oh, I see a donut box from Tim Hortons, a donut box that is red. I'm going to put a dot there. And that is the only red thing that I see in this room. Okay, so now my graph is done. So now I can start to answer the questions. And these are the questions that I would like you to answer about your graph. Now that you've done all your marking, what color had the most? Well, for me, it was green. What color had the fewest? Well, I only had one red, so that is the fewest. And then I'm going to choose to compare two colors. So how many more of one color than another? Well, I had lots of green. So I have one, two, three, four green and only three blue. So that means I have one more green than blue. And then I want you to answer the fewer question. Choose two colors and answer fewer. So let's go actually with blue and red. I have three blue things that I saw in my room and just one red thing. So that means I have two fewer reds than blues. Okay, so that is your task on your first measurement lesson. I know this was a pretty long video, a lot to listen to. Uh, you can certainly replay it if you need uh, to go over it again. If I went too fast, uh, replay the video. And then this is your challenge for the day, your assignment for the day. Make your own I spy color graph by looking around your room and creating a graph that looks like this with three different colors. Happy learning grade twos.